the weather this morning starting off very cold, mm -hmm. very cold. Yes, it was quite cold here and we have another cold night up ahead and here's why because the skies are clear high pressure right overhead for us and that's going to allow that temperature to drop giving us a very light wind. Now tomorrow that high pressure will push off to the east which will allow for a southerly wind and will lead to temperatures getting close to near 60 for tomorrow all with a little bit more sun before more clouds begin to move in. But tonight though, yes, that temperature is already dropping. We're in the 40s now for many areas. 49 Pittsburgh, you know, it's 45 in Gilmer, 45 in Gladewater, Marshall already down to 38. That's just how fast the temperature is dropping because of all of this dry air that we have. 48 troop in the loop and in Chapel Hill, 50 still the reading in Lindale at this time. 41 Carthage, Henderson, you're at 40. 42 Nacogdoches, a temperature of 43. It was 46 on the northwest side of Palestine, 47 in Zavala, 44 the temperature in San Augustine and Trinity at 46 degrees. We start tomorrow morning very cold again, below freezing. Everybody will be there, and even though this wind will be light to calm, that's going to allow us to see these temperatures below that freezing mark. 24 in the morning for Nacogdoches, 26 in San Augustine, Jackson. 28, Carthage, Marshall, 24, Athens, 25 degrees. You want to allow that de-icer and that ice scraper to be your friend tomorrow because we will need it as we expect another frost here in East Texas. 23 in Linden, Mount Pleasant at 25. Same for Mineola as we start tomorrow. Another nice day, especially as we begin tomorrow. As we look at the bus stop forecast, we are almost to the end of the fall semester. We'll get a break as we move move into the Christmas holiday here shortly. Sunshine in the morning, but high clouds will start to increase as we get toward the noon hour and especially through late afternoon and evening. Those clouds will begin to move in. Let me show you that here with future cast. You notice how the high clouds will gradually begin to pick up and this is going to turn into an overcast sky as we get into Friday. This is 6 a.m. Friday. We start dry. Most of the day Friday is expected to be dry. Just some very light precipitation. I think this is nothing more than just a couple of sprinkles that might push through as we get through Friday. Better rain chances would be across central Texas toward I-35, but Friday night into Saturday, our rain chance does does increase a bit more. We'll have a wet start to our morning on Saturday, but the precipitation will let up Saturday morning, but the clouds are expected to hold, which means gloomy weather to start the weekend, but the second half of the weekend does get a bit better. A seven day forecast. So we're near 60 for tomorrow as the clouds pick on up, mainly cloudy on Friday and for Saturday. Then Sunday, we start our warming trend, lower 60s. Then we're looking at mid 60s Monday and Tuesday and maybe pushing near 70 for Christmas Day. What a turnaround that we will see next week. Here's deep East Texas. Also with a great day tomorrow, minus some clouds moving in, but the rain chances for you are a bit better Friday evening and going into Saturday morning. Those temperatures in the 40s and the 50s. Look out, Santa, there you don't hurt anything. That's mm -hmm. kind of going. All right, sports right now. <laughs>